That's a fish. Fish! That's a fish! That's a fish! That is fish number one of the new year, guys. Oh, I didn't even feel him. I did not even feel that strike. Nothing to write home about, but this is my first fish of 2019. I measured the water temperature. Water temp is 43 degrees, absolutely freezing. Air temp, 35, all around super cold day. Happy New Year's, bro. See you later. Oh, I thought he was dead for a second. That is how you start the morning, right off the bat. Fish number one. Let me show you guys what I was using. I have two things tied on. On this rod, I've got a finesse jig, a pretty heavy finesse jig though. It's like three eighths of an ounce with a big super trunk trailer right here. Nice crawfish imitation, black and blue of course for this time of year. So that first fish, where it came from, I've been fan casting this entire area. I've probably only made about eight or 10 casts. Started over there, just made my way all the way to the bank and that last fish actually came casting bank to bank and then I was just dragging this jig slowly along the bottom and he picked it up about, I think he picked it up about here. Let me see how deep it is here. It actually wasn't that deep. What I noticed is this pond is incredibly flooded. We've had a lot of rains. So I'm thinking that maybe these fish are, are pretty shallow. They might be quite shallow, which is unusual for this time of year, but let's keep experimenting and see if we can get fish number two and get on a little pattern. We've got Guggen number one, the OG Guggens. Haven't caught crap yet, have you, Mike? Yeah. You think yeah. that I haven't caught any fish I yet? Caught anything yet? We show up late. All right. Caught anything? Yep. Yet. You did show up late. That's the only truth in what you've said. I will agree. Kevin, how are you feeling about catching your first fish of 2019? First of all, did you even catch any fish in 2018? Absolutely. So actually, I went deep sea fishing. I caught a Goliath grouper. That's a lie. Um, okay. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm already gonna outfish Mike for the year. Um, Andrew's trash at fishing, so That's don't true. worry about him. Very true. Um, I'm more worried about today because I don't think Mike's prepared. He thinks we haven't been training or anything like that, so it's game over. Okay, uh, I've got two rods for you. Well, let's test your knowledge. What bait is on this rod right here? Uh, What's that bait called? A jig. Wrong, oh. no. Okay. Th this is a lipless crankbait. I knew that. What bait is on this rod? You know, I think my dad told me about this one a while ago. Um, it looks like a dragonfly, so it mimics something that's on the water. Uh, yeah, I have no clue. This is a jig and you fish it on the bottom. All right, well. Good try, nice try, oh, nice, nice training by the way. So this one you fish on the bottom, this one you cast and retrieve fish in the middle, which oh. you can pick whichever one you wanna start with. Well, which one makes it easier for you to win? <laughs> I want it to be harder for me. You're already holding that jig and I've already caught a fish on a jig as a matter of fact, so why don't you start with that jig? All I know is when you post this video, everyone's gonna be like, Where's Michael Shaw? Where's one rod? Blah, 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 blah. This we video. Haven't seen him in months. Okay, well, this video is being posted today, as a matter of fact, so I don't think that's going to be the case unless they've really started missing me in about six hours. Fishing is all lost, Mike. Oh my God. I swear to God. <laughs> all right, let's hear it. Kevin says fishing is all luck. Why is fishing all luck? Let's hear it from you. Because it's all dependent on the fish, okay? Uh huh. So when it comes to this situation, what if the fish isn't hungry or it's in a bad mood? It's not going to eat. Then well, you're out of luck. If it's, hung if it's hungry or in a bad mood, then you change your presentation to be more finesse. So you can predict their patterns. For example, we knew that Andrew was going to sleep in and he probably 50 50 isn't going to show up. Today, we know the water's cold, the fish is sluggish and inactive, so we're fishing a very slow, methodical bait. You increase your chances by patterning them. Oh, so it's kind of like you and your wife, when you're bored with your wife, you get on Tinder. It's just it's the presentation of. I don't even know what you're talking about, bro. I, dude, this guy is just making up the weirdest shit, I swear to God. You're lucky it's so warm. I know you're pussy. No way. Wait, I actually think I Whoa, set, set the hook. I did set the hook. Whoa, that's a pussy hook set, dude. Hold on, okay. let me tighten your drag first of all. I actually think I had something there. Well, get it back out. What did it feel like? Something like dragged it, like yeah, that's a fish. Okay, set the hook harder, dude. This was you. I didn't this know. is you. I, I've never used this before. All right, you need a big hook set. Holy crap, you missed your first fish of 2019. Look, I right, here when you're fishing a jig, you need a big hook set. So, say you say you get a bite. So, look, this is you. La, 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 la. You get a bite. What do I do? You reel down and you use your hips exactly like that. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Set the hook hard, okay, hard and fast. You could have had a 10 pounder. 
clearly said that in this pond it's usually like one to six. Okay? So <laughs> there's always always an outlier fish. You never know. All right, ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna be a YouTuber if you start cracking up every two seconds? Because you can edit it. That's true. The yeah. power of editing. All right, what's up, guys? New year, new boys on the block. Um, back to the fishing squad. You already know who it is. It's your boy Andrew. We got Kevin over here. We're about to catch some fish. New year, new us. Man, we have some new techniques we want to show you. New, new strategies, new bait. Uh, I for real know where the fish are. I've been thinking in the last 20 minutes while you guys were They're off. <laughs> <laughs> Not YouTube friendly, bro. <laughs> Grab your rods. Let's go. How cold do you think it is today? Uh, I'd say it's about 30 degrees. Actually, it's about like 27. Both are wrong. It's about 37. But what's the water temperature? That's what's important. Oh, that's what we're oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. The water yeah, 37. 30. How is the water temperature going to be 27 when there's no ice on it? That You just said 27. Uh, you're absolutely correct. There's no ice in the water. You know, it's around 41, actually. Oh, that's a good guess. The actual temperature is 43 degrees. Really cold for bass fishing. Any temperature below 46, it gets quite hard to catch bass. Why right. is that? So Why is that? Because fish are cold-blooded. So in cold temperatures, they become very lethargic and inactive and don't want to eat. Can you spell lethargic? Yes, I can. Can Andrew spell lethargic? That's yes, the question. Okay. Don't avoid the question, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We had warm rains a couple days ago. That's going to warm up the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to find water warmer than 43 degrees by fishing near... Don't, did you just put your rod, my rod tip in the ground? You no. trying to break my rod? Keep the rod tip up. Tip up, man. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you guys. We're about to slay some fish. This is a foolproof tactic in the winter, basically any time of the year when it's cold out. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, stay back, stay back. Don't get any closer. Do you see that? What is that? A pipe with water flowing through it. Oh. Hey, this is some. This is some. You just keep your GoPro on the Oh! Oh! Ah, no! Mike, you had a Dude! You didn't catch the fish. <laughs> he bit the trailer. I had him though. Yeah. Come on, come on. Get back in there. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's right where it was. Oh, it's game time. Did I would destroy you an N64 smash? Oh, fox! Fox out there! Look, fox running across the street. See it? Whoa! Oh, I got a fish! Dude, I was looking at the fox. I got one! Dude, I was, my bait was just sitting there. Hell yeah! That's on the jerk bait. Woo! Fish number two! Again, nothing to write home about, but we're getting something. It's better than getting skunked like uh, these two over here. <laughs> Kevin's already missed two bites, though. So he's doing pretty well. This bait right here is probably my all-time favorite pond bait in the winter. Three-inch Lucky Craft. It's cloudy day, so I have a opaque white color. Oh no, he doesn't. He's got a snag. Oh my gosh! All right, there goes my there goes my red-eye shad. Unlucky. You got some giant on here, dude. <laughs> you got some giant on here, man. <laughs> oh no, my bait. Ah, it's so close. I got it, I got it. I'm a genius. Six dollars, staying in the pocketbook. <laughs> ah. Dude, this is a personal best for you. I don't think you've ever caught a stick fish this big. <laughs> Look at that guy. Man, that must be like a five pounder right there. You know what's also five pounds? These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> got him. New Year's resolution was to be more mature. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you guys want to fish over here? I got a fish over here. I already caught one. We got bites over here. Go well, if we're gonna go grenade fishing, on. we might as well go gun fishing. You're not allowed to go grenade fishing either. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Just throw a grenade. Yeah. Imagine how cool that video would be if we all traveled somewhere to fish, not in Maryland, <laughs> Texas. And went grenade fishing. No, he's not grenade how fishing. How sick it would look. Splash. And then do you see all the dead fish rise? I don't think they, there was fish in that pond when they were you guys grenade have fishing. Balls to cook a grenade and. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, whoa! Whoa! Wait, oh. calm down, calm down. I actually have a fish. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. It might be big. 
It's yeah. huge, actually. Is it? Is it big? No, it's yeah, for real, no, for real. No, I'm actually scared. Holy, holy, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, right. Whoa, go, go, go. Walk, walk with it. Take your time, take your time. It's right here, it's right here. It's All right. Very right. fast. Oh my god, it's a giant! Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, shh. Okay, calm down, okay. Reel it in. I'm, I'm being gentle. Being gentle. That's a giant! Okay, no, no, calm down. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Dude, screw this. I'm going to the freaking water. I don't care if it's winter. Oh, shit! Oh, oh god. Come here, come here. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, what? The? Oh, shit. Wait, where's my What? Let's go. What? The finesse jig. Look at what I just caught. What? Is that big? Did you say is that big? Did Andrew just say is that big? Is it going to break? Yeah, I'll, let me get the hook out. Hook just popped out. It popped out. Are you going to drop it? Hold it tight. Get up there. We're weighing it. Get up there. Woo! Dude, holy shit. Dude, oh, what the heck? The guys, we gotta give him some water. Let's go down here. He's good. He's not getting away. We're gonna give her some water, guys. Keep the fish healthy. Okay, big mama. Dude, I cannot believe I've never seen a fish this big come out of this particular pond. Okay. Oh, it's freezing. Guys, this is some cold 43 degree water. That feels really cold. Dude, this is a beauty. Look at that thing. I've never seen a. Dude, this might be. That might be a six pounder. Look at the gut on this fish. Look at the freaking gut on that fish, guys. That's nuts. All right, big. Oh my God! First day of the new year, Kevin catches a freaking giant. His PB, just giant fish. All right, what's your hey guys? What's your guess on the weights? Guess. Six, uh, five point nine. Five point nine? Guess. Four. Uh, Four. 4. All right, it's Andrew. All right, guys. Official weight. What? Ah! Six point seven five. Six. Point seven five. I'm a beast. Six and three quarters. That is extremely close to seven pounds. I've never caught a, I've never even caught a fish that big in Maryland before. I mean, okay, if you want to be real one rod, I told you I was better than you. <laughs> you did say that. All right, come release your fish. Oh, I'm gonna. You want to release it? Yeah, I'm gonna go in the water. I'm not getting in the water. Don't get in the water. You got your nice blue shoes on. Oh my god. What do All I right. do? Do I just toss him in there? I mean, just gently lower him. <laughs> what the hell was that, dude? That's not how you release him. Okay, he's good to go. You just threw him to shallows. What the hell? <laughs> well, he's all right, but still, that's not how you release a fish. <laughs> oh my god! Holy moly! Six point seven five pounds from this golf course pond. First of all, Andrew, how do you feel about that? That was a big one. I wasn't expecting that big a fish to be in this pond. Are you cold? Yeah, it's freezing out here. I just went in the water. I'm fired up right now. Oh my gosh, you're ready to go. I'm, I'm fired up right now. All right, Kevin, give yeah. us the rundown about that fish. So, what happened? I'm gonna be completely honest. I wasn't paying attention the slightest bit. I was just reeling. I Were you reeling I, or was it staying well, still? I was, I was doing the right technique for the- jigging? The, okay, for you're the jigging. jigging. Okay. And I was just like, I mean, we were talking. We were, we were making some good jokes the whole time. And then, like, I thought my rod was stuck. I was like, okay. all right, snagged, whatever. I started yanking on it and it started pulling really hard. I didn't really know it was a fish until I almost got pulled in the water. Kevin got has my spare rod and reel right here, which are pretty good ones actually. You right. hold this up for a second. Remember guys. Tell us about your bait, Kevin. All right, well, first off guys back at home and girls, anglers, future anglers, pros and novice. Remember, it's not about the tools you use. It's about how good you are at fishing, all right? Here you have your classic jig bait and yeah it didn't really work out for the first hour and a half but all right give me this let me tell you guys <laughs> the real story what happened i spent an hour and a half yesterday prepping all the gear respooling it i got him fresh line fresh leader and everything we're using 20 pound braid connected to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader this peanut butter jig i opened fresh out of the pack finesse jig for kevin to use i actually was planning on andrew to use it because andrew's lazy i thought he just wanted to leave the bait in the water <laughs> but anyways I'm hungry now. kevin did a great job catching that fish Thank i you. did a good job putting him on the right bait andrew did a good job uh providing okay. entertainment so we didn't get bored it's a team effort guys yeah triple fist bump let's go point where point where so right over there right over here yeah all right so here's what's going on guys kevin caught that almost seven pounder he said 10 feet from the bank, probably about 15 feet. Probably right over there. What was happening is that big bass 
cloudy day, which probably is coming up, roaming to the shallows. I don't know, I guess she was hungry. And there's actually a drain that's gonna warm it up just a few degrees. And that was probably key to help uh, Kevin catch that fish because he was casting right in this area. And that fish, uh, I mean, right time, right place, right bait, uh, right, I mean, everything just came together and it was beautiful. Dude, that was thanks to you guys for letting us fish. Dude, thank you. Hey, Appreciate it, guys. Hey, no problem. Thank have you so much. Year. Have no a good problem. New Year. Bye. Dude, guys, that was the owners of the golf course. They asked us to leave, but then they saw us and they said, they recognized Andrew from my videos. They said, dude, aren't you Andrew Pecked? <laughs> then he said, okay, you can They literally said, what'd they say? They what? said, you can stay one more hour because it's Andrew Pecked. Yeah. No, they didn't say because Andrew Pecked. They literally said we could fish one more hour. And that one hour, Kevin caught the biggest fish of his life. Yes, sir. Big shout out to this golf course. Super nice guys. Look at this weather. It's January 1st. Cold as heck, it's raining. It just started raining, the forecast, look at the, look at the clouds. It's gonna be storming all day, heavy rains. Right before the heavy rains came, low pressure system, Kevin catches that monster. Yes sir. Guys, get out there. I don't care what the weather is, I don't care how cold it is, get your ass out there, cause this is when PBs are caught. It's PB, press not bad. You don't know what PB is? Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> That's PB and J. <laughs> <laughs>